welcome to another edition of scrapbooking lilies i'm Don, and today we will be looking at the paul rubin artist watercolor set and one of their quill brush okay so i've been hearing a lot about this product for a while and from what i've gathered from all the reviews and stuff that i've read about it it is a very good professional brand of watercolor paint for people like me who are very economic friendly i'm not gonna say we're on the cheap side but you know it's we cannot afford the more expensive brand of watercolor and the paul rubin artist watercolor paint is an ideal set for people like us and they also have brushes. I know they sell their own uh, brand of watercolor paper. I believe the brand named under the Paul Rubin name for watercolor paper is the ARRTX. And I was able to get the 24 set watercolor paint and a number two quill brush. So let's see how it goes because I've already done the reviews and tests and swatches and let me show you what I have done so far. Okay, so as you can see, both came in this be these beautiful boxes. Well, these boxes are actually empty. So let me open it up for you. It's a beautiful box with magnetic linge. The brush stayed in here. This is a beautiful, it almost feels like a velvety light um, for the brush and the paints, the 24 box of paints come in this box and it's wrapped in this cloth. Okay. It was well packaged and there was no damage done to the boxes. Okay, so now I'll be doing a size comparison of first the quill brush from Paul Rubin and like I said this one is a number two I believe they sell from zero up to an eighth and according to the website this is made from 100% um, square wheel here and it has the little metals to keep it together and it has it's wrapped in plastic and this is wood and this is the size of it let me bring my so you guys can see i've already used it already it does it it does hold it, it does perform like a natural hairbrush where you can see it's bending and forming because i just use it so it's still wet now in comparison with the other brushes that i have i have here a natural squirrel hair brush from I believe this is from let me read the name it's a uh, mart it's it looks like Martin gray gray squirrel hair br watercolor brush and this is a number 10 and as you can see the number two brush at least where the ferrule is ending it's still much bigger than this number 10 squirrel brush this is the one of the biggest um, general brushes I own. This is my nylon brush. It's a general brush, means it can be used for watercolor, acrylic, oil, and gouache. And this is the biggest one I have, and it's a number 12 brush. And if I compare here and here, it is still much bigger than my number 12 brush. And I also have this Chinese calligraphy brush or a calligraphy brush because I I am not sure if it's only Chinese that use it so sorry but I also have this calligraphy brush here and they're about the same size and this is the largest calligraphy brush that I have and those are some of the things that I've learned about quill brushes that they come in different size and what might be a number two might not necessarily be two looking through my brushes to see if I could find two and here's uh, another brush that I have which is actually a number two and as you can see it is much smaller than this number two brush so these brushes it's about the same size of this calligraphy brush here that I have it is much larger than my squirrel hair brush and my general 
artist brush that I use, it is much larger than those. Okay, hi guys. Now, if we concentrate our attention in this little corner here, as you can see, this is the swatches that I did for the Paul Rubin watercolor paint. But for the tests and exercise I did with this brush, I did it right in the corner here. And as you can see, I was able to get some very fine lines with this brush. And I was able to get some very broad strokes. I was even able to make some very leafy kind of structures and very short, fine lines with this brush. This brush holds a lot a lot of water even though it's just a number two brush and you think oh it's a very small brush no it's not it holds a lot of water it buckles my 90 pound paper weight paper that I have here so I'm hoping it'll be very good on this 140 pound paper weight Canson Excel paper that I have I have a feeling this could hold up to it And for these gradients tests that I did with the Daniel Smith, it actually holds a lot of water because this is what I, this was the brush that I used to do all these tests here. And I was trying to see if I could draw a little rose. See, it still has water in it. And it was able to give me these fine lines here. Now let's look at the Paul Rubens Artist Watercolor Paints. Okay, this is the Paul Rubens Artist Watercolor Paint. It's in this metal tin. Very sturdy. I made this. It does come with a swatch sheet, which is here. Unfortunately, it is written in Chinese. And I may speak a little Chinese, but my reading Chinese is terrible. So I decided to forego using their swatch sheet that they provide. And I made my own out of the Canson Excel 140 pound paperweight watercolor paper. It also came here and look, it doesn't drop down. It stays relatively flat it's a little slanted but I think it's just gonna flatten out with use it comes with 24 beautiful colors I did not rearrange these colors in any way I leave them as is and we have permanent yellow permanent lemon yellow cadmium yellow medium and I do have the pigment information and light fast information on these swatch card that I made Indian yellow Cadmium Red Light, Scarlet, Mother Red, Violet, Permanent Violet, Cobalt Blue, French Ultramarine, Sky Blue, it comes with Sea Blue, this here is a Persian Blue, Payne's Gray, Yellow Green, Tree Green, Hooker's Green Brilliant, Emerald Green Deep, yellow ochre it comes with a uh, pozzoli red ochre this one is umber burnt sienna burnt brown and a coals black and the colors are very very violent except for perhaps maybe one color and i believe that color is their this color right here their umber the umber here is not very 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 this is the umber swatched out big and this is it in my little swatch thing here and it's not very bright I think you have to use a lot of it and it's actually a very very hard it, it hards quite easily see because I was playing with these last night and it's very hard and it's very it has little granules in it I'm not sure if that's the quality of the paint, but mine's have little, when you swatch it out or paint with it, you find these little sediments in it. It's not granulated, it's just sediments that comes with it. Their 
cadmium yellow medium is a very opaque yellow as you can see here and here let's use this one here and I permanent yellow deep is also very opaque and their cadmium red light is a very opaque color but all in all it's very bright it does behave beautifully I love how the paint flows with water my only thing is this paper soaks up water very quickly so you have to work very quickly on this type of paper okay and uh, I don't have anything much to say it does flow when I did what I did here is that I swatched a little bit of I believe this is the sea blue color and I tilt the paper so it flows down but like I said this paper here absorbed water very quickly so I had to go back and redo it and I did the same thing here I put a little bit of I believe this is the cadmium yellow uh, medium and the same sea blue and I swatched it here and I allowed it to flow into the yellow but unfortunately the yellow was drying up so I had to put more color in the yellow and had to tilt it this way so it flows into the blue to see how it can flow and mix but I do enjoy using it as you can see here I was trying to see how I could use it with flowers I think it's going to be a very good collection to work with flowers it doesn't come with a white but it does come with a black but you know it's a watercolor paint so when it comes to white we just need to add water and that's about it there's not much I can say about this paint I do I will enjoy working with it I think it's a very good um, economic friendly professional brand and that's it so thank you so much. You will be seeing me use this more in the future. Join me next time for another edition of Scrapbooking in Belize. Bye.